right. So we are switching gears over to Vanifar Pod. We're making a couple adjustments here. First thing you'll notice, we get these sweet snow-covered lands uh, because we are playing the Ice Fang. Uh, so the mana base here, we've got four birds, three hierarchs. Um, there's a lot of changes here, so if you their list is available on Stream Decker right now, um, so definitely check that out. Um, we're on one image, one creator maker, one ooze, one scrib, two Eldamari's call, one voice, three Cordals, bell ringer, three evolutions, uh, Ewit, deputy. We're on a double Teferi. They're pretty sweet. Um, Knight of Autumn, Renegade, Restoration Angels, three of them, one Shalai, one Glenelandra, four Prime Speakers, one Zealous, one Kiki. Um, so we still have the combo, obviously, with Kiki Jiki and Restoration Angel, or Kiki Jiki Bell Ringer, or Kiki Jiki and. Uh, Oh, oh, we uh, to have just those two. We oh no, and Zealous, sorry. Um, and so the new toys we're playing with is the Ice Fang, obviously, Eldamari's Call, and Teferi. Um, over in the sideboard, we've got quite a bit of one ofs. Um, we're on no paths, and a lot of lists are playing the paths. We're on zero paths. Um, we've got Forge Tender. Um, for you know the more aggressive things, as along with uh, remorseful to save our creatures, uh, Kataki and the Oof for protection of uh, uh, taking out artifacts and shutting them down, along with Double Knight of Autumns, Eidolon for combo decks, um, Magus obviously for shutting down lands. Uh, the Oozes are for the graveyard decks. Deputies are for a lot of things. Reflectors for the graveyard. Voice for a little bit more against the. Um, Control decks and a great grindy card. Thanks for a little bit more life gain. And then Knight of Autumn, super flexible card and the Revoker, because, uh, you know, Andrew wanted the Revoker. Revoker's sweet. It hits a lot of things. It's, it's sweet. I think my favorite thing uh, that you're doing with this deck is the Bell Ringer. The Bell Ringer over the Deceiver? The Deceiver, ha Deceiver has a lot of, like, uh, relevancy, though. It hits things that you don't normally get to mess with. Yeah, so. but Bell Ringer also untaps your mana dorks. Yeah. It lets you go, you know, infinite mana as well. All right. Uh, I have the right back. Vanifar, 100 points. Lets you go infinite mana, too? Well, when you're making infinite tokens, you have infinite mana. That's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I never thought of it. Like, so, you know, they're just dead, but yeah. Yeah. You have them dead two ways, though. Yeah, it's a, well, it does help because it allows you to keep playing some some creatures out if you needed to. Um, if you needed to, like, you know, push the envelope a little bit more, get something out of the way, you know, I, bounce, I swear something you're reflector. making it a bit mad. Like you're getting around Ghost Court, or not uh, Ghosty Prison. That's the idea. Correct. Gotcha, dude. Gotcha. Kinda. I'd have to work and see about the timing. Hmm? The timing with phasing, emptying, and all that stuff. Oh. Because I, like... Yeah, you, it wouldn't work. I think it wouldn't to, work because it's on attack. Yeah, you have to swing and you have to have the mana to, uh, generate it and when you're leaving that phase. So I'd have to find out if it, if it counts that as a separate phase, and I think it does. Seems, like, really good. Uh, we're, like, a little top-end heavy, but... <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah, they get the evolution. I was going to evolution just to get a rallier. Potentially just to ramp ourselves, but this is fine. So we're uh, one mana away from Prime Speaker. Yeah, one mana away from Prime Speaker is huge. Oh, this is white. This is probably much better for us. Uh, we'll take a booze. We'll just hold it up here. Yeah, this deck, this deck is getting taken up in popularity. It's Black Devotion. You think it's a Black Devotion? Oh, yeah. We can't search our decks anymore. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed that. <laughs> What'd they get? Uh, three lane, the coil. Nothing wrong. Literally, literally nothing wrong with it. Okay, so we're taking for three of them next turn. That's good. We could deputy it, but we're bringing it down to... Yeah, bring it down to one. Yeah. And I'd rather get the mana out. Main 
Keyboard Ashiak is aggressive, though. I mean, it, I guess it is too Black Devotion if this is the Black Devotion deck, right? It's probably Black Devotion. It's Maybe. Black Devotion. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Bliss used to run uh, Mute Ball as a clock. Yep. Mm -hmm. There goes a bird. Mm -hmm. We still need to hit a land. If we had a fetch, what are we gonna do? Swing it, Ashia, kill that, Cass. No, kill Kaya. Oh, they minus. Get? He got Eldritch. Well, nothing, he got nothing. Yeah. That's great. Oh, no, Bridge. Right, we're just gonna kill Kaya. Yeah. yeah. That was uh, our opponent doing that there, I think, was a misplay. I think it's correct to make us choose between one or the other. But. Yeah. I think I think in the end we still go for the kayak because it can kill the bird. But. And another one. Does he have a second one? Another kayak. Oh, another ash yeah. For real. Oof. Okay, so we're just gonna at this rate we're just gonna kill our opponent just you know, by beating him down. I guess. We need another little mana though. One more mana. Yeah, then we can hold up restoration. Well, they have a mutable, but they have to wait to block. Um. Can't we just, use it. No, we're just gonna deputy the Ashiok. Yep. Like, please don't fetch do it. <laughs> I swear if they have that as member. That's fine, we'll fetch in response. No, I'm saying I wanna fetch now just to make sure we have it. We get it. No, because if they dismember us. I know. I'm I'm saying that like there's never gonna be a good time to fetch. Uh, I think at the end of their turn. Correct time to fetch. Then they're drawing an extra card. Oh, that's fine. I don't think so. Maybe just fetch now. Cool. I'm uh, gonna grab a temple garden. Or oh, holophone. Uh, holophone's. Double blue's pretty good. Yeah, and we need the white. Yeah, well, it, no matter what, we're getting a white source. Yeah. Either the holophone or the temple garden. Well, we already have double green already, so I, I just. Okay. Double blues. And we're just gonna pass here. You don't want to kill his uh, mutable? I like the ooze. Yeah. I don't know how relevant it's going to be in this game, but. To sack if it gets like You know what's going to be sweet? When we draw another land and we take their uh, Frexian Obliterator. Leliana. Oh, well, goodbye, Scavenues. on their part. Beautiful. Sweet. I'm just gonna grab... Grab the basic. The basic? I'd rather grab... Um, our life's not really that relevant here. I'd rather give War Quartz getting the mana for Kiki Jiki in case sure. we top deck it. So, so it's two months. Yeah. I'm just gonna run out of fire. They're down to one card. And we're just gonna kill the Liliana right now. Anyways. Absolutely. So they do have mana for the uh, Obliterator, but I don't think it's. I don't know how relevant Obliterator is. Okay, they whiff. 
Free information. You can't obliterate them. Well, they just literally have nothing. So uh, we drew our combo. We did. That's unfortunate. I think we just pass with Resto. Pass, Resto, Sack it, get Kiki Jiki, cast Bell Ringer, win. Yep. Towards all the conscripts. We have both. Yeah. We're just going to draw a land off the top. No, we just need to not draw Kiki Jiki. We should have said that. It's fine. <laughs> One probably should have that land in hand. No oh, problem. Cool. Opponents use the writing on the wall. It's a really weird deck, for the record. Um, I think Magus the Moon is actually really good. You think so? So, I don't think it's that great. Here's the thing. So we saw how many non-basic lands we play. So like you have to remember, we also shut ourselves down a fair bit oh, when we're that's doing fair. this. So like whenever we are bringing that, we're going to be careful. Like I want to bring in the. Vo uh, I think the, the deputy Phyrexian Revoker and deputy is really good. And yeah, and voice. Yeah. So I think I'm fine with not bringing the rest. I like of this things one. too. I like things. things. Yeah, sure. Um. Crater Maker didn't seem that relevant. Mm -mm. Uh, Ooze was not relevant at all. No. And Tefri might not be really that relevant here. Not in this matchup. This is more of a sorcery speed matchup. I, so, I think we're good with all that. But like, they are, I imagine they're going to bring up a ton of removal here. Yeah. It's really good. Unless they don't rip a card out of our hand. Alright, let's see what they take. I believe they run eight. Uh, they run the four thoughts he's and the four equilibrium in that deck. We didn't see any creatures. That's kind of interesting. I thought they had more creatures. They have. Gary. They have Obliterator. Gary, Obliterator. They don't run the Drops Messenger anymore. But they play the two drop. I thought they played Blood Cast. I'm just cracking this now. And I'm gonna get a breeding pool. Rekasaur says check your phone. Okay. Uh, if you want, I suppose. There's not that much room left, but yeah, you're cool to hang on the couch. Who's that? Uh, it is Rekasaurus. <laughs> Talking about uh, Columbus? Huh? Columbus? It's Nick. I know you guys are talking about Columbus. No, he just wants to come over. Huh? Nee. Uh, let me ask, don't tell me Nick. Snickerman. Yeah. I knew it. Let's get a Temple Garden. Or Stompy Ground. Temple Garden. Temple Garden, definitely. Huh? Temple Garden, definitely. I know. I got a text. Um, I think we can hold off on the deputy. Wait for them I think we can them. get a little bit more value out of it. Yeah, let's just run up the noble. We'll put the sacred in the play tapped. I appreciate the fact that you're chiller pillar so much. <laughs> yeah. Lingering Souls is totally good. Doesn't Mardu Pyromancer play it right now? Uh, the new Mardu Pyromancer, yep. They do. That's rude. I'll say. They're down to like one card. Yeah, they're a flashback. Is that a flashback? Oh, oh my, my gosh. Value. I hope the last card in their hands is a fatal push, because if it's not, they're going to have to get blown out. Fair. 
Oh, what am I tapping for? I'm losing it. All right, blue, white. white, red. I appreciate the fact that you and I are on the same wavelength about having red. It's gotta be just cut, baby. <laughs> gotta be. Yeah, no oh, fatal my push. Goodness. <laughs> the blowout. Oh my gosh. And we we're so close to just combo already. Yeah, I know. If we get a land, we combo in, in two turns. Mm -hmm. um, if we don't, we gotta run out resto. I mean, a bird, and then then get resto and then do it. So it'll be slow. Hopefully, they don't have like a lily here. That'd be bad. That's pretty good. That sucks. It's better they do it now than on the uh, the bird, though. I mean, if they did, we would just sacrifice the you know, deputy. I want, I want my bird. No, if they do, we just sack the deputy. Get yeah. the bird. Out of the man. That's just a little Iron Man 2 there for you. Oh. People hate Iron Man 2. I like Iron Man 2. Iron Man 2's good. Um. Mm. We gotta play the bird. Why? Oh, no, we don't. Just passing. They swing with me a vault. We block. Bend it! You wanna know what to do? I want to play the Yeah, yeah. Swing upon it. This one, you do the Dewey, you look at your hand. Oh, four blocks. Restoration. Why is that the Dewey? <laughs> the, oh my goodness. It's, it's the hand. It's how you get pull your hand up. <laughs> it's how I pull my hand up. <laughs> do I do that? <laughs> do That's this. hilarious. You do this. Results. <laughs> <laughs> I would have run out of bird on Eldritch it. Because we can just kill them through value at this point. What would we have to do? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> just something. <laughs> like, we can get voice, which is relevant. Um, if we don't know what to do, we can also get rallier. And just then. Well, we can rallier and get back voice. That seems pretty good. Rallier and get back bird, you mean? No, voice. Of resurgence. Mm. Right? It's right there. Mm, yeah. That's pretty good. It's not good enough to get me that far back, though. That'd be busted. You know, Bryce, it does sound like an Andrew thing, but I'm telling you. I'm telling you. What, next time you're watching, you're at a competitive uh, event with us, watch Dewey. I'm telling you. He's got the funniest mannerisms. I work on my mannerisms specifically for Andrew. Specifically. No. Uh, first of all, that, I, wasn't, that wasn't an Andrew mannerism with the hand. I think they're over-exaggerating. Me? I am not that bad. I'm kind of bad. <laughs> I'm fine. All the time. Uh, yeah. I had a vacation day today that I didn't know of. <laughs> you didn't know you had a vacation day? No, I didn't. Uh, my work turned me away. Because uh, they turned, uh, there's like six people asking for the day off. Uh huh. And they turned all those people away. Okay. So they're like, yeah, we just turned all those people away last week. Yeah. So if we have you come in, that's just a giant slap, to, slap in their face. Because they could have, because they, they were put down as alternate alternates. So wait, you had to work? No, I didn't. No, no, I'm saying like you were supposed to go to work. Yeah. Um, he wanted to. Okay. Yeah, I went to work with Raquel. Okay. And then um, they're like, yeah, we, uh, yeah, we can't really work. Cause, uh, so you, you you wanted to go to work? Like, were you, were you supposed yeah, to I wanted to go, yeah, I wanted to go to work, but I had no idea I had it off. Cause, no, uh, I, I'm confused. Like, wasn't today a normal day? Yeah. So me and Raquel just got, like, got ready like a normal day, headed out. And yeah. then, they sent you and home and not her? Yeah. <laughs> so she was pissed. <laughs> No, no, I don't think he got sent home. He was never supposed to be there. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to be yeah, there. he wasn't supposed to be there. So, they're so like, they sent home, so, home instead of letting him work. Yeah. Because they're like, what are you what are you doing here? And I'm like, I work here. <laughs> a, a cliche joke. Why, like, so why not just stay home? Huh? Why not just stay home if you had the day off? He didn't. Because there's nothing to do. Because, I, I, like, if I would have, I would have planned to run some errands. You could have been watching your boy. Huh? 
For your girl. My girl. Your daughter. Oh, my kids? Yeah. My two boys? Oh. You know, my mom, my mom. <laughs> I thought I was right. I hate you. You are terrible. I hate you. are the worst person. I hate you. I said boy initially. And then I was like, yeah. But then you didn't respond, so he was like. Yeah, no, then we like, what, what, what you? I was like, oh, oh, I got it wrong. <laughs> no, my mom's watching them. She watches them uh, while, oh, we work. while you work here. Yeah. So, you know, you could have been, you know, sleeping. No, that's why I passed out for two hours, and then Dewey's text woke me up. Because I texted Dewey at like 6 or so, or something like that. Yeah, I, don't, I try not to look at my phone when I'm uh, streaming. Yeah. Jeez, that's rude. Yeah? How great is this? We're going to be able to blow up their file. Andrew, you're not... You can't talk about what's written. That's not right. So rude. <laughs> <laughs> Or we could tepher it. No, no, we blow it up. We could draw a card, though. No, nah, because this is fish again. You know how I know this is fish? Is like Only two way? decks that run vile in that crappy land. That land's not crappy. And definitely it's humans. Oh. They get evolution. That's fine. They get our... They're probably going to take the evolution. If they don't, they're an idiot. They're gonna take evolution. Or no, they're gonna take the uh the you four drop? You can't take it that far. It's, it's, it's a non cre uh non creature non land permanent. Yep. Okay. I mean non creature non land card yeah. take. To Fury. So if they don't take or, no. if they don't take the evolution we combo. No, I think they do evolution. We don't combo. What do you mean we combo? Well, we don't combo next turn, but we can play the prime speaker and then pass it off and then we can combo the prime next turn. Yeah. 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 What would be the line? <laughs> yeah, we really don't want them to have a reflect maze. We would cry. Actual yeah, that'd tears. be pretty bad. Actual tears. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. So no, I'm, I'm trying to think of the line we're going to do to win here. It's, Why do humans play Waterlog Grove? Horizon Canopy's better in that deck. Hmm? Why, why do they play Waterlog Grove? Horizon Canopy's just better. Bro, budget. I think it's for their sideboard. No. Right? They play Oof in the sideboard. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, no, no, the, um, the... The... The deputy is not a... They want to have the, the blue for the deputy. What does the blue-green do? But they it just it's a uh, they're the new set of lands they're like Horizon Canopy. Oh, you start to draw. Yeah. Yeah, All but right. they need the white for the champion. Okay, so. No pain cost. No reflector. No reflector. One time. That's a reflector. Don't cry. Don't cry, do we? <laughs> Don't cry. Like Tafiri. Did he mm -hmm. really not name Tafiri? What? Did he name Tafiri off the. Never mind. Never mind. That's a reflection, man. Yeah. I'm thinking of Meddling Mage. I don't know why. I don't want to bounce in the bank. Sorry, I play with only good cards. I agree. I could just draw, yeah. but then Tafiri dies. I, I could, think that's fine. I could bounce the kite sail. And no, I think literally just like. Minusing I him just to draw a card. I can also just plus and pass. You know, just minus. Yeah, let's just draw a card. They always have the mage brace. They always do. Cry every time. Cry every time. It's just like spirits. Every time that you think they do not have the spell caller, like they couldn't possibly have it. They have it every time. You've played three callers already. Yep. You have one card in hand. Yep. Slam down your spell. I'm gonna uh, spell quality that. Story of my life when it comes to my matchups with Danny Peterson. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, this is directed at one person. I know it is. Just, ah! So Tefri's gonna die. We're gonna take two. Next turn we can go Tefri, bounce the kite sail, draw a card, play the Eldritch Evolution on our bird. And go get a three drop. We can go get like a 
thinks we can go get an image. I don't really know. Yeah, but I said you cry every time they reflect, or, uh, well, yeah, reflect your base and spell quality. Yeah. Like every time. Every! I don't know what's in their hand. They're not casting anything. Bankers. Meddling Mage? It's a Meddling Mage, yep. Yeah. They're gonna name Prime Speaker. Seems reasonable. Okay. That's beautiful. So we can go Teferi here. We can sack the Night of Autumn and go get. Um, we can go get a Shalai, which seems pretty decent. We can also go get a Prime Speaker from our deck. We could swing. I think it's a free two damage. I don't think they're gonna block. If they do. We play the Prime Speaker. Yeah. So we can either evolution for a three drop or a four drop. I think getting Shalai seems pretty solid. I kind of like just going for Prime Speaker. Hmm. I think the only thing that's upsetting me is your miscolored uh, basic. Yeah, I just borrow them, I don't care. Wow. Um, next turn, I, if I get a land, I can go Tefri, bounce the mage, and cast Prime Speaker. Is, yeah. Or on the next turn, you can go Tefri, bounce the Kite Sail Freebooter, get back the, you know, whatever, evolution, evolution mm -hmm. up, combo. Okay, so what line are you talking about right now? I'm saying if you cast the evolution in your hand, okay, sacking the Knight of Autumn. Go get Vanifar. Get a, a Vanifar. And on the next turn, if they don't answer the Vanifar, you Tefri bounce the Kaisel Freebooter to mm -hmm. get the evolution under that, and then evolution the bird. What would you be getting with the bird? Renegade Rattler. Okay. What does that one do? Uh, when it, it's got Revolt, when it enters play, you can buy back a card with CMC 2 or less from your graveyard to the field. Okay, so you want to get the Prime Speaker. Yeah. I think he's naming it because he doesn't have an out named. We could tap free right now and just uptick. No. No, no sense putting the threat, the tap free in threat's way. Okay. Well, he have to. He would have to swing with Meddling Mage. I guess he could drop a Mantis Rider. Because mm -hmm. they always seem to have the Mantis Rider. It's just like the Spell Caller. How many cards do they have again? They have four, four now. Four now. One's a spell caller. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if one's a spell caller, I'll just give them that at that point. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. This was the other risk of that line. Now we have two prime speakers in our hand. It's fine. It's not really fine. It's, like, pretty bad. Yeah, we're dead. We just gotta kill the mage, man. Like, we'd have, like, we'd have a Shalai that we can't cast. Next turn, we'd be able to cast the prime speaker now. If you Wish we did. Oof. Yeah, so we play the bird. Bird. Next turn. No, we go bird. Teferi. No. We go Teferi, bounce the kite sail. And then Eldritch away our bird here. For what? Uh, we just need to get, like... We can get Deputy and take away both their Reflector Mages. It's interesting. So, take damage off board. Yeah. It's either that or we could, like, evolution for a three drop, like, a uh, Ice Fang's not Death Touch yet, but we draw a card. Eternal Witness could go against a card, but I think either way, this is. This seems like a good line. Does Deputy detain? That's Deputy it's, de um, it's, uh, no, it's, uh, Detention Sphere. Oh, okay. creature. Let's say because deputies sound like they detain stuff, so they should have bring a detain mechanic on them. That flavor. That flavor, though. <coughs> deputies, second from 
pretty sick though. A yep, sphere on a stick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of that. It's become a mainstay of modern. The interesting part is that it targets a non opponent and all other of that player controls too. That's the other thing. So. Yeah, just like deputy or uh, detention. No, not like detention. No, it doesn't. It doesn't hit your stuff. If Correct. You have the it says target non land permit and opponent oh, 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 controls yeah, yeah, yeah. and sorry. all other permits that player controls. In play, yeah. So it doesn't like def- uh, detention sphere hits everything. You sure? Oh. oh no, no, you're saying that the deputy only hits things your opponent controls. Got it. Yep. Yeah. I thought you were saying that it doesn't, it only hits, it hits everything. Like that. Sphere doesn't what's, uh, what's the stats of the deputy? It's a 1 3. It's a 1 3. three. Yeah, it's, it's pretty solid. Good boy. Oh. Hashtag buff boys. If he was a 2 3, though. Oh, oh no. It's unfortunate. Oh no. Oh my god. Are you taking us? Oh, well, we're gonna get a noble and two birds. They have one card too. So. What is uh, Teferi supposed to do? Uh, so Teferi static says that all your opponent can only cast. Uh, Stuff at sorcery speed. Oh. And uh, his plus says until your next turn, you can cast sorceries as if they had flash. Or as if they were instant. They yeah. had flash. Yeah. And his minus three is bounce a creature, artifact, enchantment. Yeah, one of those. Choose yeah. one's hand and draw a card. Uh-huh. That's not good. Or bounce to the hand. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> that's a kite sale. Copy. No, no, no. That's a deputy, yeah. and it's going to take our deputy. They're going to get double reflection mage, take out both of our birds. Hmm. And then swing for, a concession. swing for four. We technically have one turn. Yeah. To find what? I have no idea. Oh, we got a normal. They we'll always just... have the, uh, the reflector mage chat, just saying. Even when they don't have it. Well, that's not it. I still think the line was correct to I go don't. for the Vanifar. Do not. I disagree. You disagree? 100%. Um, I think it was absolutely Why? Why did you do it, Dewey? He wanted to do it. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. I think the Magus comes in. I think our boys can get bigger than their stuff. You know, the, the reason I disagree is it is because it pigeonholed us into a single area that would punish up punish us pretty badly if they had a reflection mage. If they had it or fantastic. Yeah, like it's sure. it's really bad for us in the in that line. Um, where if we went to go fetch up like a Shalai, we're still able to block their stuff and we can still cast it all Replay it on the yeah. Yeah. So you know, that's why I don't I, I see your reason. So. I disagree, I would have gone for the win. <laughs> but, <laughs> I don't think you were going for the win. <laughs> oh. Um, oh. What do you want to cut here? I think this is the right call. Like, Reflector Mage, Deputy, Magus, and Voice all seems pretty strong. Um, like, Finks, too. Like, Finks, too? Yeah, I think it pro- it blocks profitably against Knight. Or not Knight. Uh, Cutting yeah. Glenn. Yeah, Glenn Wonder seems really bad. Teferis don't seem good. No, no. We could, like, we could cut the Ooze. No. But Ooze gets really large. It's really big. But we're not bringing them in. And they get bounced and stuff. I think it's a good call to get I rid think of it's it. fine to trim one copy of Restoration Angel. No, Restoration is a big deal here. It literally blocks out all the creatures, including Mantis Rider. Like if so you want to if, if you wanna trim no no. The Ice Fan Coal can potentially block <laughs> it. And it does it trades with it, is what it does. I think it's fine to trim on the prime speaker. That's fine. See, I don't know what I'm talking about. If you you take me <laughs> out, I know robots and garbage decks. Yeah, 
This is a garbage deck. What is it, that rogue deck? This is a garbage deck. What do you mean? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. It's cool. Oh, this seems fine. Yeah. We're going to Ice Fang on turn two. Yeah. Crater Makers also seems really good. What's Ice Fang? Ice Fang Cold Flash. Uh, It's Baleful Swords with Flash. Oh, okay. But it's a green blue, and it doesn't have death touch from the get go. It has conditional death touch if you have enough ice snow permanent for it. How many do you need? Three. Three other ones. Three. Right. Other ones. Oh, yeah. So I think we go get steam vents here. Yeah. Also like the, uh, I'm really liking the crater maker. Hope you that looks really good. Can you blow up their vial? Yeah. What's the two options on crater? Blow up uh, the target non-land colorless permanent. I changed my mind. We gotta kill that thing. Kill the champion of the carriage. Yeah. We can deputy the champion. All right, so we killed the freebooter. <laughs> Yeah. Next turn, I don't, I don't think that's unreasonable, right? Just put the Crater Maker into play, block with it, and then sack off and kill the uh, free boots. Yeah, I think that's fine. It's reasonable. It's either that or Abol- uh, we can't evolution on that. Yeah, that was the only thing I could take. That's unfortunate. What was that? That's unfortunate. No, that's good. Actually, it's he's got protection from blue. Yeah, it blocks Mantis Rider all day. Um, we'll go wooded. We're now crater. And then we can fetch out the second uh, snow cover. Yeah, maybe. Do you think you need to assemble more your colors more? Well, we've got all the colors. We just can't cast Kiki, but that's probably fine. Crater maker, follow the card. It even blows a card liberated. What do you gotta pay me on to pop it? One. We oh. do. Alright. We are potentially causing ourselves to It blows up Ugin! No no to not be able to kill <laughs> the kite of the champion here. Yeah. Um so I think we're more likely just going to uh, block the image. Yeah. Then we're just gonna block the another image, the champion, and shoot the kite sail. That, that's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, and we left the Mantis Rider hat. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. Let's, we'll put the Script Ranger on the ball and turn the block. So, block. Yeah, I'm going to go get our stuff for that. Plains? No. No? No, it's at Wood Foothills. So it can only get a forest. No flights don't matter because we have the temple. The only thing we're. Oh, oh, okay. Good thing they didn't have the That's what we were complaining to. Um. <clears throat> Probably just tap them and go, right? Yep. And hold up Script Ranger? Yep. Do we have this. Oh, uh, it's three other snows? Yeah. This card's mm-hmm. trash. That's why I was, when we were building the deck, I was uh, questioning only running four snow permits. It's fine. The card's trash. <laughs> um, let's see. Script Ranger block. Well, the problem we were playing Tron, we had like 20 some viewers. Yeah. Now we have three. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens. Every time. Also, it's not. It's probably not a good idea to take breaks. I usually like when I'm there. I'm usually just like quick, quick ba- bathroom break, and then I'm back at it. Mm-hmm. Um, because my viewership goes down significantly when I uh, take a break. True. Yeah. But no, people people definitely tune in for Tron. Mantis so. red. Okay. So, Deputy and Mantis Rider in the next turn seems really good. Possibly. 
I hate Deputy of Detention. Because it also gets hit by Deputy or Reflector Mage, which seems pretty bad. Do you think we're in jump block mode yet? It's mm, close. It's very close. Not yet, though. I'd love to see if we can get another snow. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. So the best bet's probably just run out deputy and chance it. Mm-hmm. The alternative play is we could have took the champion of the parish. Right, but we're gonna block that with the death toucher, so I think that's the better line. The issue is that they can uh, violin the. Yeah, they can. They can either violin a deputy of their own or a flexor mage here. Yeah. But they can they can do that in response. Ooh. Is the oh. thing to response to our deputy, and then sure. it never goes away, and so we never take the tokens anyway. Lock the match starter, Two. eat away no, the little champion, little take four, go to three. I mean, go to four. Well, we're going to have to fetch. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to one. That's bad. Two. The de deputy's not a... Uh... Mm. Oh, and he can't swing with deputy anyway. Right? No, he can. Let's see if he knows he can. Why couldn't it? Why would you think you couldn't? Uh, we block it, it dies. And then we get our deputy back. But we're too well black to do that line. Mm. That's good. Anything we block, we die. <clears throat> Not good. Humans, man. Yeah, that's like one of our worst matchups because they disrupt us. Like, they were putting out a lot of pressure while disrupting us, I feel like. So, we're like easy prey for them. That's a one match where I think the um, Court of Calling would be more appealing than the Call? Yeah. We haven't even seen the Call. Okay. Reasonable. Probably just getting a force, right? No. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Sure. Don't need to give him too much information. Yeah. Like, what does snow covered forest into Birds of Paradise tell you? Nothing. Because <laughs> your question is who's playing this deck? Don't bolt the bird. They're gonna bolt the bird. Every time. Escape shift. It's Ponza. It's <laughs> probably <laughs> Ponza. Oh no! Bird is way too dangerous to let live. That's why we took two of theirs. Gem, gem what? Gem flyers, obviously. Come on, man. I agree, Bird. Bird is too dangerous to let it live. Oh. <gasps> what is that? Lightning skeletal. <laughs> it's the lightning on a lightning ball. No, you gotta take the hit. Just discard the Shalai and the Prime Speaker. Oh my god. 
my goodness. Uh, we need red. Yeah. Let's get uh, a stomping huh? Yeah, we'll shag. We'll make ourselves more dead to the skeletal. <laughs> They're gonna coco into double skeletals right now. It's gonna be Earthbreaker Skeletal. Liliana, what are they playing? Jump? What? No, that's the card. They play this so it makes it stronger. <gasps> So it makes it so the the skeletals become nine fours. Oh my goodness! I'm in on this deck. All right. What is that card? Um. Get the scrib ranger. Mm -hmm. Start going on. Scrib ranger. Untap. Sack it. Get rally or bring back scrib ranger. Yeah. We combo. Yeah. We combo. We combo. They're playing this cute deck. We're just too good at this game. And we haven't played land for turn yet either. Four mana. Suck, scrib, get bell ringer. Suck, rallier, get resto. Or still blink the bell ringer. And then <coughs> speaker away our resto. Get a kiki jiki. Kiki jiki the bell ringer. Always yield. We also get inf technically we have infinite uh, triggers on this uh, prime speaker as well, but we don't need that. They can see. Uh, this is Prime Speaker Vanifar combo. It's like the new birthing pod. It's not as good, so. Bryce, don't let him fool you. This is top tier. No, nothing right. could be as good as the old pod. All right, let's get <laughs> Forge Tender. You're so good. Um, it looks like they're pretty susceptible to Magus. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're on Unearth, so let's bring in the. Ooze. Oh, they're definitely on Unearth. Um. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, maybe voice. Might have autumn, but not, not. Just to like gain ourselves blind. Yeah, I, th I think when you're taking six we're just, damage at a time. We're just trying to, try to clog up the board, honestly. I think we cut the Tapiris. I think Tapiris really bad this matchup. Uh, they should never really have anything for us to hit with Deputy. I agree. Uh, we need to cut a total of what? Eight cards? So yeah. Five, five. We probably don't need the Zealous because it's not really hitting much. The only thing that we're hitting with this is um, Coco. On Earth or Coco. Yeah, so I'm good with cutting that. Uh, I'm probably good to cut the script, um, the script ranger. I mean, not the script ranger, the image. Sure. No. I think it's too important, but... We could cut the bell ringer. Probably combo. And just go down to resto for the combo. Uh, same blues. Okay. We can cut, like, Elders Evolutions or Call. I think... I think, oh, like I think cutting the call is funny. Two calls. We need to cut one more trimming of Vanifar. It's always okay to just trim one Vanifar. Right, you know, that's what you are. Oh, his deck is the Lightning Skelemental. Um, it's the Lightning Skelemental Collected Company deck. And most likely, it it's like the old Ball Lightning deck. Um, if you ever saw that, where it plays Ball Lightning into... That's awkward, but um, it's, it plays Ball Lightning and Coco's into Ball Lightning. Now they get Lightning Skelemental, so they get to play, like... Um, I don't think we can keep this. No mm. way. No way we have Kiki in hand. This hand's more reasonable than the last one. I guess. Barely. Let's ship the Steam Vents. Yeah, no, we, need, we need to keep the Steam Vents. No, we're going to ship the Steam Vents. No, let's just uh, ship a Misty. No. No, a steam vents. No, a, a force. No, we need to keep the force for the night. Yeah, just ship the steam vents. No, the hollow fountain. Ship the hollow fountain. No, we need a hollow fountain for the night of bottom. No, no. We're, we, gonna we're just going to go fetch it out. Yeah. Which is the same logic for the steam vents, for the record. I agree. But we might also be getting just like a basic, uh, basic snow covered points.
Or is this the gen- the uh, the Don Lee special? I bet he's real excited about this. He is. No, he's on the uh, red black version. I feel green's important. He should get Coco. Oh uh, no! I told him he needs to be running the. So he's running like the faithless looting, like the value version, right? Mm-hmm. He needs to be running the new. Uh... So we're discarding some lands. He needs to run the new elemental that has. Uh... I think I'm pitching. The Misty and the Snow? No, the Misty and the Breeding Pool? Yeah. A little late on that. It's fine. Does this have to deal damage to us? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We can just run out the Forged Thunder. Mm -hmm. Fetch on for a temporary. Oh, but yeah, so I was telling him Don he needs to be on the uh, elemental that buys back elementals. Yeah. I imagine. So on turn two, you can uh, seven them. Sure. <laughs> I'm surprised they're playing that. I, I thought they'd be. Hey, Nick, what was the last time you saw a Hellspark elemental being played? Oh. Uh, yeah, they are on there. Sheesh. I think the last time we uh, cube draft, which was like a year ago. I mean, we cube draft. Sack the tender and stop the skeletal damage. Mm. Yeah. Well, the last time I cube draft. <sighs> Definitely run that in mono red. Play That's Night so of good. Autumn, gain four life. <laughs> well, it's that or just run out Crater Maker in, in case they swing with another one of these. Oh, that's fine too. Yeah, I think that's probably where we want to be. So that way we're always like, if they want to go for another Unearth, they can't really. And if they want to just Unearth the uh, Light Hall Spark Elemental to hit us for three, that's fine. Yeah, you never come over anymore. Oh uh, yeah, there's the Thunderkin. We probably just shoot that right now. Yep. Okay. Ugh. What's better? I think we just... We know. just block one of these and then shoot the Skelemental to bring him back? The problem is they're just going to do it again on the next turn. I think we just concede. No, like, they, they can't do it. They're going to... They it gets exiled. Right? No. Oh, it's... No, it just sacks it. That's stupid. Yeah, that's what I was saying. The Don Lee special. Alright, let's just get some. <laughs> yeah, they're just going to bring me back the Skelemental every turn. Alright, let's try it again. It's crazy. Uh, Clash Royale. Have you been playing that uh, Dota Auto Chess? Yeah. No, I haven't. I've been playing um, Team like, Fight Tactics though. I got that Dota Auto Chess thing. Played a little bit. I think it's fun. The Remorseful Cleric out the board? I don't know. They're not really killing our stuff, right? They're just mainly just. Oh, I am so dumb. Yeah, I should have brought a Remorseful Cleric. Mm. For some reason, I was thinking it was... Um, yeah, do you remember I told you to bring that in? Yeah, we definitely should have brought in a remorseful character. I, I was thinking it was the one that saves all of our creatures, which is... Incorrect. This game's great. Alright. Um, I think I'm Putting shipping... The prime Speaker? You want to ship the Prime Speaker? Oh, I'm never getting that thing off. Fine. But I think the Steam does. Right? Hmm. Problem is we can't shock that you know we really can't shock that much. Yes. We're gonna get a temple garden here. We just play hero and then just be like, please, 
kitchen fix, please. That's a bolt. I'm not bitter about it at all. You sound extremely bitter. <laughs> For the record, I do love this one. Kind of sweet. Uh, I, I was supposed to. I yeah, you're supposed to fetch. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to have to just shut the shock here. Yeah. And get steam a... Steam But we can't grab steam vents. I don't think we need double white, ever. Where you pull them? No, we need to grab red until it's stompy ground. Great. Good. Now do we play the Fix? I think we play Fix overnight. He's got skeletons with us so bad on the next turn. It sure is. We lose everything. We play this pile. You want to play this pile? <laughs> no. I don't want He to. can't play Skelemental this turn, by the way. Why not? Skelemental red, red, black. Oh, is it? He can't form it. <laughs> Got him. Oh, he's a cycling. That's player. a great use of an earth. I am a fan. Big fan. I'm a big fan of Restoration Angel. Yeah. That he, us both sitting up through that, you guys both just witness us because we just went from we think we're gonna lose to we got a shot <laughs> <laughs> instantly. <laughs> Getting so down and de just really depressed that we're just gonna get skeletal again. To oh my gosh, he has to shock. Do we represent him? A lot of damage. Kind of. Double red or yeah, double red black. Sure. We're cool with this. Oh. I, yeah, I gotta sit up straight for this one. Oh, yeah. Did you bring a back opponent? Oh, that one? Have you met my restoration angel? Blow out. Smart man. That way he loses everything and we lose nothing. He's got bolts. It's sure. fine. Oh, he still tramples over them. Do we want to present a bigger clock or get a life? I think the bigger clock. I think the bigger clock. At this point. Because we're presenting now. Uh, or otherwise it would be three. There's the Coco. No way, 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 no Yeah! Oh my gosh, we're so lucky! It wasn't luck, it's just skill. You heard it first, Jack. That was just skill. Just skill. Opponent just doesn't know how to handle our supreme skill. Probably, uh, probably just the Sacred Foundry, I guess, to get closer to the red. Yep. It's that or grab the planes in case we get Magus. And Coral. Uh, planes. Because if we draw an evolution, it's gain life. If we draw an evolution, we can uh, just go for the Magus. Your move, opponent. That can't be good for them. No, it's not. I love the art of this. The, yeah, the future site art. Mm -hmm. I do like the Shadowmore art, though, quite a bit. It's fine. Yeah. This is just I, much more. It's, it's the border. It's the border. Oh, you like the border more? 
No, I like the border on that Graven Cairns. No, I love the art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like it more than that one. Why do I look at this? Mm -hmm. Oh, some pillars. Gonna fire. Yeah, this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look how hardcore that is. Blood coming out of there. You know. Like, like, come on. Come on. Into a pool of blood? Oh my gosh. Yeah, that kind of reminds me of Indiana Jones the Temple of Doom. You know what? Never watched it. You've never seen Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom? I haven't seen a lot of movies. Kalima! Uh, yeah, it's in reference to Kalima! that. Kalima! It's in reference to that. I know, like, the references as a result, but... Yeah. <laughs> Hannah's mom. She's so funny. She would never hear to watch that movie. Her mom always covered her eyes. So the first time Hannah watched it with me, she was like, What was my mom freaking out about? That's funny. It's just a heart. If we want to play a turn to voice here, we're going to have to get a Sacred Foundry, I think is the best bet. Or a... I think it might be best to get a uh, Hollow Fountain. I'd be fine with that. Hollow Fountain into voice. Switch to Garfield and just put Basic Mountain. Representing... Uh, I don't think Burns that great right now. I think that Mono Red or, uh, Prowess deck, though, is legit. Seen that? I think Burns fine. Think so? Yeah, because the meta shifting. Burns always a good call in the meta shifting. Yeah. I just think Mono Red's always a good call, no matter what. That's not true at all. Prove me wrong. The format is <laughs> wrong all the time. Oh, yeah, we're playing Ram and App Red. What is our opinion doing? It's Mono Red Phoenix. Yeah. Or Prowess. It's the same deck. Yes. The they same. shouldn't, they should not run the chicken though. The Phoenix? No way. The Arclight? Should run it. Why? Put too many your eggs in one basket. What do you mean? When you're playing Bethlehem Reveler in the same deck? Rip. Okay, you can't play any of your cards. It's still a relevant creature. Ah. Oh my gosh, so good. That was actually pretty good. That was a perfect example of why, uh, <laughs> why that card doesn't see play anymore. <laughs> what, Lavender? Or Voice? No, Voice. Well, we got a two for one there. That's fine. How is that, how is that bad? Oh, uh, those are great. We two for one. I think we just, uh... I think I'm just going to Night of Autumn game life. Yeah. Pitch out the other, uh, Snow Curve. Yeah. Thank you, Bryce. You don't play the chicken. You're putting all your eggs in one basket. I don't know. No, they, I I have seen some lists that go away from the chicken and just are playing uh, Season Pyromancer, which I agree with. Season Pyromancer. It's a good card. It's a good, great card. It's a good card. Great card. It's a good card. I think you need to reevaluate your card selection. I think we're going to run out of Vampire. I think you're right. The awkward thing is they can Lava Dart and then bolt, but we're still two for one at that point. Yeah, if they're sending all their stuff to our creatures, we're in a great spot. Yeah. I wonder why they're playing Ram and Amber Wings, though. Because it's two damage. Well, I, I, I've been seeing some lists on the SEG Tour that are just using... Um, yeah, this is great. Look at that. He's going to bolt it, and then he wants to send something else its way. Absolutely fine. You want to give up a land opponent? You want to give up a land? No, I've been seeing some lists that just um, run uh, just straight mountains, and then they play like some of the horizon lands. Someone's going for a big damage. Yeah, two. No, they're going to lava dart here. Or they're going to play another thing and then lava dart. I don't think so. They're, at, they're on two lands. They're definitely not going on to one. Love that card. 
Blood to Sage? Mm -hmm. It's a great card. Awesome card. What'd they get? So Not a star bad. and a land, exactly what they're looking for. Not bad. You could call for something, but I think that Teferi and then just bouncing their uh, Soul Scar Mage and drawing a card is probably the best bet, and then just running out the bird. Thoughts? I think so. See, here's what. So, I'm of the thought that once we get to six mana, we get Eladomri's Call mm -hmm. for a Restoration Yeah, it's going to be a blowout. Yeah. So, I think until we have six mana, it's, we shouldn't even play that. Perfect. I should have swung. I'm not gonna block. It's gotta represent. I mean, it's free damage. I should have got him. Soul Scar Mage is so good. It's fine. It would have been great if I had haste. Yeah. But I think I, what he did to Vanifar was just shows you how powerful that card is. Where he can just kind of like, it used to be Burn had to commit everything at one time. Mm -hmm. And now they can just like shoot something mm -hmm. and then just finish off later. Yeah, and it's not a good thing for him. Like, he's committing a lot of resources to, you know, killing our creatures. Lava Dart and the Tefri. Goodbye. I think we're gonna go get a stomping ground. Cause we've got double white. Yeah, right we now. don't have any red yet. Yeah. I'm just gonna run this card out. And see how they deal with that. Same way they dealt with, uh, you know, Manafar? Yeah. You know, Aquaparts, you can't actually rest still, shall I? No, oh, it's me. Mm -hmm. Oh, they didn't actually, they're not getting it back, right? No. That's good. We only played one, uh... I'm just taking this. I call him. Mm hmm? Call him on it. It seems so risky to give this away for nothing. We're giving it away for a bolt and losing one of the creatures. It's going to put them in a great spot. Next year we get to Eldamari's call. They already played Land for Turn. Huh? They played Land for Turn already. Okay. What they're what they're saying is I have a gut shot. It still doesn't seem worth it. Because we don't kill their creature though. If we kill their creature, I'd do it. Seems fun. Uh, we can also start putting more counters and more stuff too. Yeah. Get a steam vents here. call for like a deputy and take out both of their things, right? Doesn't seem unreasonable. I think that's fine. Better go get Vanifar and tell him that we're going to win in one turn if you don't do something. 
No, I think going for deputy seems pretty good. They have three cards on hand. There's a strong chance it dies, and they just get their dudes back. Yeah. If we get one more mana, we could, uh... Hmm? If we get one more mana, we could do that. Or no, we well, no. We could go get Kiki Jiki. And just copy Knight of Autumn, gain four life. And they have to... so good. Because we can just cast it. Let's just do that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we talking about all these other things we can do? And we can just get Kiki. I'm just going to tap this for red. I don't want to yeah. shock ourselves some more. I agree. To. And just pass. Yep. This is reasonable magic. Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker. So good. Yes. Reasonable. The flashback? Yeah. Of course it's fine. They're tapping out. Probably set up for one big turn. Second gut shot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh. That's still fine. No, because you get three phoenixes back. Oh, yeah. Okay. Awkward. But they literally need to have double gut shot in order to do that. What can we do? We're not dead. We just have to give up our knight, though. Can't give up the knight. It's the only way we're staying in this game, right? Mm hmm. Kind of need us to lie. So let's say we block this and gain four life. We would take, still die. Take, we're 16, take four, eight, 11, 20. So we need to block the two creatures. We block two. So we block the uh, the four five and the. Uh, what are we blocking with? Shalai or knight? I think it has to be knight we have, that we give up. Because Shalai mm -hmm. can pump our board, and we can just make a copy of a bird, I guess. Right. No, we can also make a copy of knight of autumn and put make it a uh, four four, tag for six. Put him at six. I don't. I don't think we're attacking, because we just die in the crackback. No, we're we're looking for combo. Right. So it's. Do we do we get more time with Shalai? I think we do because it protects our Kiki. He's the only, has no cards. Again. I know, but if he gets a spell. Oh no, we're dead on the next turn. If he gets an archer, we're dead. No. Okay. Well, if he's dead, if he's... We just need to prevent lethal. That's all we got to do. And we have... Well, what I'm saying is, what are we giving up here? The Shalai. Like that? We say alive? Uh, it's 4, 7, 10, 16 damage. No, we're still dead. Do we have to block yeah. like this? Yep. We get. I should have thrown our way back, but. Scrib Ranger is not enough? Nope. That was really unfortunate because it literally needed to be gut shot, gut shot. That's so crazy. Alright, so Eidolon, Remorseful, Forge Tender, Oozes. 
That, that. I do not, for the record, like the deputy in this matchup. No? No. Nor do I like the reflector page. I think reflector's good. It bounces their arc light back to their hand. They can't cast it. I think reflector is more relevant than deputy. That's fine. That's fair. I think we got to bring all the knights in and the things too. Voice or no? Voice is fine. I'm okay with voice. Uh, I think we're removing the core of the whole combo here. I don't think we need it. We're just trying to stay alive. Once we're alive, we should be fine. Mm -hmm. I think he, uh, value Kiki is good. If we need another card, though. Time reward. Cut it. Yeah, that card's been underwhelming. Mm. Lionel Linder is really good. Is it? It's very good. Turning uh, a couple of eight prime speaker. We're probably not getting very many creatures to do. No, I don't know. I'm actually okay with trimming. Scrib Ranger. Yeah, Scrib not Ranger's good. not good. Yeah, I think if we, I could have made that decision to keep things around, I would have kept the knight. The knight is huge to keep getting this life, but and it represents two blocks effectively. This is good. So we use the Misty Reinforce to get a basic. Mm, I think we use the Windswept to get a basic. Well, no, because the Windswept can also get a basic uh, planes. Misty can get a basic Forest or uh, Island. We don't have an Island. We definitely have an Island. Do it right there. Okay. That's right. I think the White's more relevant, though. Sure. We'll do that. We're cutting ourselves from uh, red, though, just for the record. All right. Going in this way. All right, do it your way. No, no, I'm saying we, I can see. We're, giving, we're giving up one fetch just for a basic. Um, I uh, think these kind of decks you gotta. Yeah. You can preserve your life total. Yep, yeah, I mean, of course we're preserving our life total. That's not the oh, I, thought, I thought you were say, saying we should go for a basic. No, we should go for a basic. I'm saying that if we go for the second basic, we're cutting ourselves off of red. Oh, I'm yeah, no, no, no. Not disagree with you. Either. <laughs> Got a value Ice Fiend Cold though in this matchup because it can eat prowess creatures. I know. For free! Yeah, just getting to three is ridiculous. <laughs> really? Is it that hard to do? <laughs> There's four <laughs> in the deck! Is that that hard to do? Yes. <laughs> I think we're getting you it. Buy back you, er... And then just buy back the call. Yeah. Just to have a blocker. I think, yeah, I think it's fine. <laughs> Make some of their kicking. <laughs> we're talking strategy, right? <laughs> Get out of here! I'm actually going to put out of here in a minute. What? No, don't leave. I love you. <laughs> I gotta pick my brother up. The, uh... He gets up work that time. Oh, where's he working now? Walmart. So, no, with John? Yeah. Oh, no, John doesn't work there anymore. No. He, uh, what's he had something with his dad or something. He got fired from Walmart. Yeah, because of his points. He, I think he took a day off, one too many. I don't know. <laughs> Is that where you can ooze and just start eating stuff away? I like I, that, actually. I'm a big fan of the goblin. Huh? I think we should just gobble all this stuff up. No, there's only, we're, there's only, like, we're eating the lava dart, maybe, and then eating the faithless. Which is probably still good enough. How's, how's Brian doing? I haven't talked to him in a while. What? Your brother, you gotta talk, start, yeah, keep that line of communication open. Dude, 
I haven't talked to a lot of friends in a while. Just this is also a relevant remember. time to get Reflector Mage and bounce the Phoenix. He's got Faithless Mage? Huh? He can Faithless Mage in way? Yeah, but then we can ref uh, Resto <laughs> it. And do it again to him. He's got to commit three spells to it, is what I'm saying. That's fine. Yeah, I think we got Reflector. So what do we man? I don't see him like once every other time. It's because you're good at hiding under a rock. Yeah, dude. No, it's because I'm good at working under a rock. <laughs> That's terrible. I feel bad for that joke. It's a great joke. That was terrible. Call me Patrick Starr. He doesn't work under a rock. Do I live under a rock? That was unfortunate. No, that's fine. Because he, now he's not getting Phoenix. And he can't faithless living with her. I don't know if just fetch and block. Yeah. yeah that's a power line. That'd be a blowout. He's guaranteed to bring it up to a 2-3, though. So if he has another spell, it'll be real bad. Literally, it's all like he could have had to win the game. Yeah, it's so crazy. Okay, we're not blocking anymore. Here we go. We are? We're going to six right now. Oh, yeah. We're blocking. We are blocking. <laughs> blocking the dark light. Please tell me he thinks he has lethal lava dart. Oh, no, he had it on it. No, no, he needs it. Lava dart. He's already got our quick kills. Oh. We lose. Good. I guess we technically go to one. No. No, no, because he just lava darts. Yeah, we're just dead. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> this deck's not doing so hot. Oh. Hey. It's on the same, same course as Tron. I know. If it wins this one, it did better than Tron. Fair. <laughs> <laughs> you coming to the barbecue, Nick? Uh, Why not? Oh, is it Saturday? Yeah, it's Saturday. Uh, bring the kids, man. Yeah? Yeah. Everyone else is bringing their kids. I'll cool. bring my kids. Okay, I'm good. Shut up. He's talking about Lily. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about Lily? I was. Oh my God. Yeah. See? Oh. My girl. She's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah, my six year old's a uh, fucking pain in my Language. Ears. There. You should choke about Lily, though. Huh? No, whenever whenever it comes to women, they... No, don't. Huh? Don't. Oh, really? <laughs> well, at least it's the hog. Oh, jeez. Alright. You want to see? She's the <laughs> Yeah, he likes dogs, but, like, when it comes to... Because uh, this past weekend we're up in Gaylord, and, like, uh, Raquel's cousins came over, and then she, did, uh, she brought a couple of girlfriends, and like Nico I, just I like tucked her in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got a better picture of No, she she doesn't like being tucked under the covers, so I took I made sure she was extra tucked. Uh, extra tucked. Yeah, extra tucked. I made a lily token. <laughs> She's my huntmaster token. Yeah. Yeah. Summon one two two Lily. <laughs> People just get intimidated. Mm. There's another payoff. That's sweet. Mm. Really can't do anything yeah, we're still like super fearful of the new game. Yeah. He's gonna show. <sighs> Warm glow. Oh, it's fine. cool. Totally mm. fine glow. But yeah, if you can, man, you should bring the kid. Yeah. So we are 
playing Prime Speaker on the next turn? I think so. I'm just Looks hoping that we win? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nothing else for us to do. Nope. Oh my goodness. Thought, every have... time he taps mana, I'm like, is this an O-Stone? Because if it's an O-Stone, we lose. No, it's not. We can't play through an O-Stone. We just bounce it. He re... What? He might not have the land. You gotta play with your outs, man. Right? I, I very quickly can see... <laughs> So well, that's unfortunate. Why? No, we don't, we're, we just won't go off on the one. We just cast the Scrib Rager, dude. That's what you're playing, the deck, and I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> this guy. And the only reason you do Scrib Ranger is so you can combo off with a single one drop, for the record. Yeah. If, if you didn't know that. Because you just need two creatures in play. You need a three uh, so you can go up to the chain. Yeah. No, I need Prime Speaker. Well, that's not bad. He's going to exile Prime Speaker and we kill no, it. We just play it over. It's just playing the Prime Speaker. Yeah, I think uh, Jay's bringing the kiddos. Um, the Lickitessi family's bringing the kiddos. Who's the Lickitessi? I never met him. Friends from, uh, friends from high school. Met him? Hmm, that's not good. Uh, we lose. Very much so. Uh, you've never met him. Uh oh. They live out in the Holland area. That, 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 that. Probably it. Right? Yeah. Ditch that. Gotta keep the crater maker in so we can blow up, you know, ooh, with the ditch that. Ditch this. <laughs> I'm telling you, we've literally set it up to Fury every match. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, I think everything else has relevance. You can probably trim one Resto. And then trim an Ice Fang. We don't really need to draw stuff here. You know what would be sweet? What's that? We zealous conscripts, their, Karn. Their Karn and exile their Tron land, taking them <laughs> off of it. Yeah. Woo! Keep it. Let's go to Magus. Turn two Magus should be pretty solid. We just gotta figure out how to win from there. Um. Yep. They're down to five. <laughs> so, what do you need me to bring for the bark, you do? There's a whole sign up sheet. Is it? <laughs> Where? <laughs> it's on the invent page. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Your, your wife already signed you guys up for dessert. You're bringing, like, cake and... Oh, that's why she said she'd pie. make a pie. Yeah, pie and something else. <laughs> Let's bring the chips. <laughs> <laughs> like, place this. You're a four-color deck. <laughs> All right, I'm going to shoot out. I don't know. Yeah. How long are you streaming for? Uh, after this league. That's all. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Under two leagues. After we dump with this fool. Yeah. yeah. I need two leagues, then I gotta do some homework. Yeah, I'll probably. I gotta go home and, you know, get ready for another day at the office. <laughs> Fact. Yeah. Say, man, have a good night. No, it's your need to have a good life. 
This man, hard work. <laughs> For the record, we can almost ramp with the bell ringer. We or, could play the bell ringer. Yeah, hold on. At the end of his turn, we can play bell ringer and scrib rager. And scrib rager. Yes. And we're threatening the two four more, damage. One more damage from that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's the crit game we're going to do. Oh, we can't. Yeah. Huh? Just tap the line. I know, I'm saying we can't play Scrib Ranger. Yeah, we can. It'll untap the noble. Because Bran costs two. Oh, no, never mind. We're still doing this, because if we get Kiki Jiki, we win. Kiki off the top, baby! <laughs> <laughs> One time! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> oh. For the record, we can cast Grip Ranger too. <laughs> we can't, I don't care. Professionals. <laughs> what are you talking about? Luck? Skill. Every time you draw the one of off the top, skill. Every time. Mm. <laughs> we could have turn three Magus, but it might be too slow. You'd mull this? You sure? It's close. I don't know. I keep. We're on the draw. It seems... I think this is fine. It is a turn. I know. I'll just redo it in my head. <laughs> Unless we get mags on top. One time! Hand. Yep. They kept it for probably because of Magus. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, what did they mold out to? They were at six. No, five? Yeah, they, flipped, they molded in five. Okay. Rude. Hmm. Still fine with that. Shock ourselves. I'm, I want to hold the wind swept for the renegade. Yep. I dig that they're playing warping whale. Makes me wonder if they're playing Karn then. So they have a very slow hand. Yeah. Good call upon it. So we don't need to run out the Magus next turn. We just play the Renegade. There is a chance it gets Thought Knot, though. Because they're going to be at 4 mana. Hmm. I guess if they do that, we just deputy it. Yeah. So we're fine with it either way. Our life total doesn't matter. Let's start getting some different color mana. So, yeah, because the second, I mean, the second fetch is just going to grab the basic. Yeah. If anything, we could have fetched for the basic, played the renegade, and then the second fetch end step. Cut the other color. Okay. Fair point. Not that it really matters. I mean, <laughs> they're honestly not going to be killing us <laughs> with the loss of life. We're just going to concede before that. Okay, so we 
Ausstandung war. Ja, das ist ein Ausstandler. Was? We can just they don't, take it with that beam? We don't know if they actually have it, right? No. We just get a planes here, right? Yeah. There is the chance they have it in hand, but then I'd have to have it in hand and I have pay off, right? Yeah. So we'll just take the for sure thing. because I'm playing it and Tron is trying to punish me. They're like, you always want to try the land, so we gave it to you. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm a little stitious. <laughs> <laughs> So sad with life right now. Up to the list. Huh. Still really relevant. They can take out our Magus. Um. Okay. So, what do we have in the deck? Um. We can go get a crater maker and shoot it, forcing them to take out our rallier. We could go get a prime speaker and just slam it, make him answer it. If he doesn't, we win. Um, we could go get a... We what? took the combo out, didn't we? Huh? We took the combo out, didn't we? Oh, yeah. We did take the combo. No. No, that was the last that was match. That the last match. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I think the choice is either between, um, yeah, I, I would I would say the choice is between Glen Alondra, Prime Speaker. I think just Prime Speaker. Let's just attack with the Renegade Rallyer, see what he does. Now, if he gets Tron and we go Prime Speaker, we pretty much just lose. Mm -hmm. It would. So he would have access to 6, 9, 10 mana. He would have to shoot the Prime Speaker down. Yeah, I know. But that's pretty bad for us. No, because then we just follow up with Magus. Okay. And realistically, realistically, if he finds Tron, we'd probably just lose. He's got two cards in hand that he hasn't been able to cast. Yeah, I guess because the, the alternative is just running out Magus, and then he just takes it up by one and just shoots down the Magus anyway. Yeah. So. You so you did. That's it wrong. What are you doing? I actually had an opponent that was on Tron yesterday that tapped incorrectly, so and it cost him the match. Okay, that's fine. Kinda. Oh, we just... Yeah, right. No, we have to get a... I'm trying to think of how we win. We have... We, have, we can't... Oh, oh there you go. <laughs> that doesn't make us win. Uh, yeah, it does. You cast it, target the walking blister to blow it up. Yeah, but that doesn't make us win. Like, he has the mana here. But we just have Prime Speaker. Hmm? We have Prime Speaker already in play. I'm, I'm confused with what you're saying. So, we can... You run, so, out, so, Knight, you run out Knight of Autumn, you sh you're targeting the Walking Belissa. He shoots Knight of Autumn in us for one. 
Mm-hmm. How does that make us win? We can we can combo, right? What? No. We, what? How do we not combo? You have to be able to get a three drop to go get your. Uh, we have no creatures in our graveyard. We don't have any four drops that can do it. No, we you can get out the hippocamp. No. Like, like, what? Yeah, hippocamp has been in this list for ages, oh, man. Oh goodness, where's the hippocamp? We can combo with Glenalandra, like go get Glenalandra, and do it over two turns. So we can like run out Magus of the Moon. No, we run out Knight of Autumn, blow up his O Stone, run out Magus of the Moon, force him to at best shoot down Magus of the Moon, and then our, and then we also sack the Knight of Autumn, go get Glenalandra. We wouldn't be able to counter with it, and then on the following turn we win. So the alternative mm-hmm. is we play the we go to combat for everything's post combat. Yeah, everything's post combat. So we're just swinging anyway. Yeah, we're swinging with both our creatures. No, we're not. We're sw- we're only swinging with that. We have to activate prime spell. Oh yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So we just tap our lands here, run out Magus. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. We play the we play the knight first. Yeah. Blow up the Yost. Okay, good. He and didn't play, react to that. So we're gonna sack Knight of Autumn. No. No. We want to So play. we play the Magus of the Moon. And then um We're sacking night. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, to get... Uh, I was thinking in response to him attacking, or to shooting down the Magus, we can um, get... Uh, in response to the second ping, we get the Restoration Angel on the Magus. Uh, this is Sorcerer Speed, dude. That's so terrible. Why are we playing this card? <laughs> uh, we can go blink resto. Blink the night of him. Yeah, that seems riskier because we don't win the following turn. Mm-hmm. So we'll take out the Knight of Autumn. If we, I'm just saying, if we had Hippocamp, we could win. If we had Hippocamp, uh, Hippocamp could get Zealous, Zealous untaps that, then we uh, get Resto, Resto, yeah, we would win, but we're not that cool. And Hippocamp could have got Shalai there, too. Not worth it. It doesn't make us win. Mm. So, like, this should be game here. Like, no matter... If he takes out the Magus, that's fine. If he, Yeah, he's taking out the Magus. As long as he doesn't have Tron to follow it up with and a payoff. Because what he was supposed to do is actually just hold up Ballista. And that's what he's doing. Huh? No, you have to hold a Ballista with two counters on it. All right, that's what he's doing. This should be game. Because that's only a one counter. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah, he, he could have killed Kiki Jiki in response to us going, trying to go off. Cool. So we can use the. Uh... We use uh, Vanifar. Sack Glenalandra. Persis. Get Kiki. No, we get Zealous. Oh, because Zealous untapped, yeah. Zealous will target that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he can shoot it right now if he was smart. Nah, he's not smart. Doesn't matter, we still can combo off or... No. Is that right? Well, no, we would so go we get... So we sack that, get Resto, resto blink, blink that, untap. Yeah, so. Better than Tron. <laughs> Take that uh, one to the bank. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Andrew, for joining me in the stream. 
Um, I am going to be here next week, Sunday. I do not have a tournament to go to, but the following week, I'm going to be in Columbus. I won't be here for that. There's so. actually a tournament next Sunday. Huh? There is a tournament next Sunday. Where is it? Okay. Well, I might not, Storm Gaming. might not be here next Sunday. So we'll see about that. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for joining again, and have a great night.